where you can find a sense of well-being with the breath. It's like food for the mind. Our mind needs a lot of food because there are a lot of difficult things we have to do in life. Things that we'd like to do but we know are not going to be good for us. We have to be able to resist them. And things we don't like to do, but we know they will be good for us. We have to learn how to do them. We need strength for that. The mind gains its strength from having a sense of being still and at ease with a sense of well-being. We provide that with a breath. At the same time, being still with the breath enables us to see things a lot more clearly. So it's not just feeding and feeding and feeding here. We're feeding in an intelligent way. Because all too often, with other kinds of pleasures that the mind gets its nourishment from, they actually blind the mind to what's really good and what's really skillful, what's not skillful. You get drunk with your pleasures, intoxicated with your pleasures. So even though the mind does get some nourishment, then it abuses that nourishment, uses its strength in all the wrong ways. But when the mind is still with a breath like this, this is called a pleasure of form. This is higher than sensual pleasure. It feeds you and at the same time it allows you to see things clearly. It's not based on harming anybody at all, which means you don't have to be in any kind of denial while you do this. And the stillness of the mind enables you to see when the mind moves in a certain way. Is it going in a good direction or a bad direction? So this is a wise way to feed. It gives us strength. We're convinced that the mind is the source of all our actions, all our happiness, and all our, all our sadness. So we have to be careful about how we act. That gives us strength of con conviction, the strength of persistence. We have to be mindful to keep this in mind, and so we can develop the concentration that feeds the mind, feeds its nourishment, excuse me, feeds its discernment, at the same time gives you the strength to sharpen that discernment as well. So make sure your mind is well fed. And being able to feed off the breath like this is good wherever you go. You get on a plane, you go off to some other part of the world, you've still got the breath right here. All the good things in the monastery are right here with the breath, the skills that you learn here. This is what, what's good about the place. Everything else is secondary. So take this skill with you. Feed yourself wherever you go. And you'll find that you act and speak and think in ways that are more for your benefit and the benefit of those around you. And this is what it means to be well-nourished and to use that nourishment well. <laughs>